During the near-death experience, that purity of nirvana, that perfect love, that wholeness, when you're separated from that and you come back into the physical body, you miss it so much. You don't want to be back here. You no longer fear death, quite the opposite. You want to die because you want to be back there and experience that again. I didn't want to return to Earth, and I didn't want to return to my life. I had a wonderful husband, I had four young children that I loved dearly, and I felt a little guilty that if I'd had the choice, I would have left again. Death doesn't scare me. It's something when you go to the other side and you come back, you're like, well, I'm not afraid of dying, I'm afraid of actually not living. I tried to talk to family and friends, and, and they just bad reactions, they had bad reactions, because they, they didn't understand it, I think it probably frightened them. One of the things that I, I felt very strongly about it was not entering into a debate about near-death experiences. The experience is the experience, but really what matters is the after effects. Just the fact that you were gone and left this world briefly, though it might be, is mind-shattering. You are so convinced that what you've seen on the other side is so real it may not line up with what the church believes in. If you don't stop talking insane like this, I'm going to have you put away. And he explained what that meant. We are so excited for, uh, about what happened to us that we want to tell the world. It's not the fact to have any of this experience. It's to survive it. It's to make sense. Why this happened to me? What am I supposed to do with this? First of all, you have to worry, is your husband or wife or your mate going crazy? Once you realize they're not crazy, then you have this other struggle. If they're not crazy, my worldview has to change. 